Hello, hello, good morning. <laughs> okay, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Hello, Michelle Franco. Hello, Aaron. Okay, welcome to your grammar class. It's going to be the last day of the week. Yeah, and then you rest. Hi, Kevin. Okay, good morning to everyone. Morning. Okay, good morning. Welcome to your grammar class. And today we finished the unit number 18. Yeah? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Let me show this part. And okay, this is the exercise that we developed today. Yes, but let's review. Okay. Okay, let's review this part. When we use article and or in some cases, no article. Yes, we use no article before plural noun. Remember, okay, so if you have a noun, it's the first word of in a sentence. It's a noun, so you don't use article. Okay, and if this noun is in plural, you don't use a, an, or a da. Okay, you only say the noun. For example, analysts don't make quick decisions. In that case, this one is plural. And for that reason, we don't use an article. Then we have, I need money, okay, to buy the, buy the car. In that case, this one is an uncountable noun, so we you don't use article. Uh, then we have insurance, it's very expensive. This one is at the beginning of a sentence, so we don't use article. And also, okay, remember, we use the article da, okay, when you have the names of a mountain, okay, region, famous place, river, ocean, etc. And also you don't use articles before the names of the majority of the countries, okay? But we have some exceptions, yes? For the example, um, the United States, the United Kingdom, etc. Yes, okay, so this one are countries that it is necessary to use the article da. And we use no article before the name of a language. Yeah, we don't say the Spanish, the English, okay, the Chinese, no, okay? We don't only mention the, the, the language in that case. Chinese is a difficult language. We don't say that Chinese is a difficult language. Yeah, it's not possible. Okay, so let's see, let's continue with exercise 3.2. In that case, it's more practice, yes? Okay, welcome. Good morning. Welcome to your class, yeah? <coughs> I'm sorry, okay. We more practice with article da or maybe no article. Yes, okay, we choose if we write or no. We complete the paragraph in that case. This one is a speech, okay, to the professor. And also we write uh, the symbol of no article or maybe da. Okay, let's see volunteer for reading this part, please. Okay, okay, let me check this part. Okay, good morning, Diego, thank you. So let's see, okay, let's do it together, yeah? Okay, welcome international students. In that case, we don't use article. Yes, we don't say welcome the international students. Why? Because this one is in plural, yes? Okay, we're so excited to have you here. Be ready for a fan and BCGO. We add, okay, number two. We use an article or no article in that case. We add, we say the university or we don't say nothing. We add university. What do you think? No article. Okay, no article, yes. So in that case, we write a symbol, exactly, okay this part, okay. We at university understand many of you are far away from the home or only home. What do you think? Only home. Only home, exactly, okay. We don't say from the home, we say from home. Okay, next one. We know that can be scary. You all took the risk or risk without article only risk. okay only risk yes so let's see incoming here 
in your very brain. In your packets, there's The, the information. Okay. In your packets, there's the information of housing. Okay, let's check. Information is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 So it is necessary to use an article? No. No, okay. So we don't write anything in that part. Yeah, there's information of housing. There are the maps or only maps? Only maps. Only maps. maps. Exactly. There are maps, okay, of number seven, the entire or only entire? The entire. Okay, yeah. in that case, yes, we use an article. Okay, so the entire campus and his part of? The city. Okay, the city. Yes, this one is general, so we use the article that. You are all invited to? No article. The. Okay, the, or maybe no article. Okay, so let's analyze. You are all invited to weekly socials or all invited to weekly socials. Okay, both are possible in that case. So you can write the article that, or maybe you don't write or don't mention anything, yeah? Both we can use in that case. Okay, where you can share number 10. The information, or we only say information. Only information. Okay, only information, exactly. Okay, where you can share information about what you learned. It's also a time to meet. Only friends. Okay, only friends. only friends, exactly. We don't say to meet the friends, okay, only friends. Both, all, and new. We also assign, okay. Only language. Ah, okay, only language buddies, okay. Why? Because remember, okay, says the rule that we don't use an article when we mention a language, yeah? Okay, and next, next one, that or article. Yeah. Only buddies. Okay. Only buddies, okay. In that case, we use the article, that. <laughs> okay. The buddies are other students who help with? Only English. Ah, okay. Only English, exactly, because it's when it's a language, so we don't use article. Yeah, English practice every day. When you need? The help. When you need the help or without article? No, no, no. Oh, without no. Ha, only help. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> okay, only help. When you need help, okay, with anything, please contact me. We want you to feel like this in your home away from. <coughs> no article. Okay, no article, yes, exactly. No article in that case, okay. Excellent, so we have some definitions here. For example, socials, get togethers, okay? Or maybe when you celebrate a party, etc. Yes, okay, so let's check. We have only the article in number seven, eight, nine, and 13. Then we don't use an article, yes? Okay, that's good. So let's continue, yes? Let me check. Okay, we pass to this one, exercise 3.3. That in no article with the languages and geographical places. Okay, so we complete uh, the information in the blog. Okay, maybe we write an article or no. Okay, let's remember the rules. Yes, okay, in some countries we write the article that. Yes, but not the majority all the time. And also, okay, in geographical places, in some cases it's necessary. Yes, okay, genus travel. Let's see. People usually have a strong reasons for doing volunteer work. They care about other people and worry about the world in general. I grew up in the United States. 
Okay, the United States. In that case, it's necessary. Yes, because it's part of the name of the country. So we write the article. The United States in... What do you think? We say in Midwest or in the Midwest? Without our article. Okay, without article. So let's see, I grew up in the United States in, let's see, this one is a geographical place. So what is the rule about? Let me check. Okay, it says that use the before the names of mountain regions, famous places, rivers, seas, and oceans. Okay, so this one is a region. So it is necessary that we use, yeah. okay, the article exactly for that reason we add in that place. Okay, da. Let's see, near Mississippi River. Da. Da, okay, because the rule says that if we mention a river, it is necessary to add the article. But there is a different word on the other side of? The Atlantic. Okay, Atlantic. let's see, the Atlantic. I was always interested in? No article. Okay, no article, exactly. We don't say I was always interested in the Africa. No, yeah, no article in that case. So I volunteered to work in? No article. Okay, no article. Namibia, even though it was scary to go to? No article. No article, okay, to Africa. I was glad to take the risk. I really wanted to help, to help the people or to help people? People. Okay, only people. Yes, I really wanted to help people in a different part of the world. So we don't write anything. I work in a village school teaching. No article. Okay, no article, teaching English to young children. I love it. I also travel a lot and saw some great places. I went to? The. Ah, okay, the. In that case, this one is a geographical place. So we write the article, yeah? Okay, I saw the, okay, I saw the Lake Victoria. I saw Lake Victoria. Okay, according to the rule says, this one is a lake. Little. Ah, okay, without, yeah, only in rivers we use the article, yes. I saw Lake Victoria and I climbed. The, the table, okay, the table mountain or only climb Table Mountain? Okay, according to the rules, or maybe the, let me see the usages says that, okay, we use before the names of a mountain. In that case, we use article, yeah? Okay, the Table Mountain in the South Africa or without? Without. Okay. Best of all, volunteers make a difference and help other people. It's not enough to just worry about the work or be anxious about the future. Taking risks to help others is rewarding. Volunteer work is a great way to do something to help the world. Okay, to help the world. the world, yes. Okay, in that case, we use the article. Okay, so rewarding is when you're satisfying, okay, about something or someone. And this one makes you happy. Okay, so this one is the usage or no, the use of the article, da, yeah? Okay, excellent. So let me clear this part. Now let's continue. Okay, avoid common mistakes. In that case, point one, don't use a or an with a no count noun. Okay, so that's mean if we have, let me see, butter, it's not necessary to use the article because this one is an uncountable now, so you don't use an article. I'm making a progress, okay? This one is incorrect. So you only say, I'm making progress with my English. Yes, because progress is a noun, but this one is uncountable. 
I have a homework tonight, okay? In that case, we don't use an article because remember homework is an uncountable noun. So we say, I have homework tonight, yeah? Number two, don't use the to talk about things or people in general, okay? The life is often difficult for the students. So we say life is often difficult for students. That means this one is a general noun. So we don't use an article. It's different when you say boys and girls. Yes. So you identify. In that case, it's possible to use an article. But when you talk in general, okay, no, we don't use the article that. Students get the homework every night. Okay, in that case, it's general. Yeah, maybe you have, uh, let me see, grammar, homework, math, uh, EFL. Okay, we don't know. If you mention specifically what is the homework or the subject, okay, it's possible. But in that case, you use general. Okay, number three, don't use the with the names of languages, most countries, or continents. Okay, you know that we have some exceptions. Yeah, the Japanese is a beautiful language. You only says. Okay, you only say Japanese. I want to go to Australia. Okay, I want to go to the Australia. Mm -mm. Okay, this one is a mistake. Use a before consonant sounds, use an before vowel sounds. Okay, I have to make a decision quickly. Okay, in that case, the decision begins with a consonant. Okay, that's mean you can use an article. There is an online university in Caracas. In that case, it's possible to use an because the next word or the next noun is or it starts with a vowel. But remember, with the word university, okay, you use the article a because you have the sound u, university, uniform, yeah? It's different. This could not exceptions. Okay, so let's see. Now, in that part, we find incorrect more mistakes, okay? We have the first one. I read an interesting article about how the people manage risk. In that case, we cross out the article that because it's not necessary to use it because we talk about general, okay? Number two, the professor gave us a lecture on economics. Okay, what is the mistake in that sentence? Let's analyze. Okay. Okay, you need to check your sound, yeah? Okay, that's good. So let's see, number two, the professor gave us, okay. So you say professor, uh -huh. okay, the professor gave us, but in that case, professor is, um, let me see, countable or uncountable? Okay, it's similar to when you say the teacher, yeah? Teacher, the teacher. Okay, so we cross out the article. Aha, uh -huh. gave us a lecture on economics. What else? We have another mistake in that sentence. And. The end. Ah, okay, and, yes, because this one is a word that begins, okay, with a consonant. So we don't use and, we use a, uh, yeah? Okay, so we cross out a little in. Number three, an ostrich worries about getting a job, a good job, when he or she finishes college. An ostrich. Okay, in that case it's an. An ostrich. Yes, okay, because the, the word begins with vowel, yeah? And in that case, I try to write. Okay, number four. Analysts hope they have an insurance at work, but will find a new job if they need to. Okay, first one identify the articles. Yes. So we have they have an insurance and a new job. Okay, in that case, this one. In that part is without article, yeah? Because it's uncountable. And we don't use articles with uncountable nouns. And in that case, a new job. We take out the N. Okay, exactly. So we only use the article A. 
Okay, number five. Some people feel a fear when they have to move, uh, to move, okay, I'm sorry, to a new country. What is the mistake in that sentence? Feel fear. Ah, okay, yes. In that case, we don't use because this one is an abstract noun, yeah? It's uncountable. And we don't use, uh, let me see, articles with uncountable nouns. Okay, next one. I hope to become a volunteer in the South America after the college. A volunteer. Okay, a volunteer, yes. Is the only mistake? In South America. Okay, in South America. So we cross out this one. Okay. After the college, that's okay? After college. After college, yes. Okay. We don't use the article in that part. And the last one. I don't speak the Spanish, so that's a risk. But maybe it can be fun. Uh, Spanish. Ah, okay. I don't speak Spanish. Yes. We don't use article with languages. So that's a risk. A risk. Uh, ah, okay. A risk. So that's a risk. Yeah. But maybe it can be fun. Okay. This one are the mistakes in that part. Yes. Okay, so we need to analyze carefully because in some cases, okay, we don't check every article, yeah, but it's necessary. In that case, it is important to know what is the difference between a, an, and da, and when it is necessary an article and when it's not necessary to use it. Yes? Okay, so let me clear this part and let's continue. So let's see now, grammar for writing. In that case, writing about risk and challenges, okay, writers use articles in many types of writing and with many different topics, including when they write about taking risk and challenges. Okay, this one, uh, it's true. In the majority of the time, okay, so we use articles in every sentence, yeah? When we write, when we speak, so, but it's necessary to learn the use of everyone. So use an or an before a singular count now when you introduce it, okay? Use the before the noun after the first time, okay? So the first time you use an article a or an, yes? Maya took a big risk. In that case, we introduce, okay, the topic that in this case is risk last year with her job. Okay, the risk, turned out very well for her. In the second sentence, okay, is the second time that we mention the topic, risk. So we don't use an article, we use the. Okay, that's me. If you write a paragraph, imagine that you write a paragraph uh, using the topic school, yes? Okay, so the first time you can use an article, okay? But in that case, school is uncountable, yeah? Okay, so we can use an article, but the second times, okay, we use the. It's not necessary to use a or an one more time. So you change the article in that case. Next one, use no article for no count nouns with a general meaning. Okay, Trevor doesn't have money to buy insurance. Okay, in that case, it's not necessary because money is a no count noun. And also it's general, yeah? Use no article with languages. He speaks Japanese. Use that or no article before geographical locations. He worked in the United Arab Emirates and Turkey. Yes, in that case, it is necessary because it's going to be part of the name of the country. Yeah. Okay. For example, when we use El Salvador, it is necessary to use the article that I live in El Salvador. I live in the El Salvador. No, yeah. Okay. Because this one is not part of our name. Okay. So let's see, now we read the paragraph and in that case, okay, we circle the indefinite articles, yes? Okay, what are the indefinite articles? We have only two, what are this one? A and an. Okay, a and an, and what is the definite article? We have only one. Da. Da, okay, excellent. We only know, okay, this one are articles, no, but we have indefinite and definite. Yeah, we have a classification in that part. Okay, a stressful risk. My friend Dara is a, okay, 
a definite article with circle, but climber in that case. Okay, risk and stress excited, excite her. Life is not fun for her without risk. She says that they help her feel alive. For example, Dara often has large dinner parties. She invites new friends to her dinner parties and she always cooks new dishes. My dinner parties are always with old friends. I prefer to cook for people I know. I never cook new things. It's too stressful. Sometimes Dara's parties are fun and sometimes there are disasters. The last dinner party was a disaster. The guests did, didn't like each other and the food wasn't very good. But Dara doesn't care. She already has plans for another dinner party. Okay, in that case, we only have two, uh, let me see, indefinite articles. This one is the first one. And the second one, uh, let me see, I see you here. Okay, was a disaster, yeah? This one is the next indefinite article in that case, yes? Indefinite, we only have the in that sentence, yes? I think it's all, okay. Maybe I don't see another one, yeah? I think that's all. Ah, yeah, we have here. Let me see the foot, yes this part okay so we underline two times similar to the verbs yeah okay excellent so let's see do you have a question about this topic no this one is easy yeah okay so let's see excellent okay let me share uh this one yes Okay, in that case, we practice about, uh, let me see, countries and nationalities. Yes, so we play, but this one is in Spanish and not in English. Yeah, but uh, you tell me, let me prove uh, our knowledge in this kind of capitals or maybe countries, yes? Okay, so let's see, we have exactly, okay, this part and we need to, okay, you help me, you tell me, yeah? Okay, let me see, Colombia. What is the capital? You have the options in blue. So you tell me what is the capital in that case, Colombia. So we have Castries, Brasilia, San Salvador, San George, Ciudad de Mexico, Buenos Aires, and Basseterre. What is the capital of Colombia? Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's guess. Yeah, we we'll learn here. Basseter, okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, give me one of the capitals. So you help me, we have nine minutes. Okay, Valentina Nava says Bogota. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, pero no está Bogotá. So that's mean this one is not the capital. Or yes. Ah, yes, we have here, yeah. Okay, thank you, Aaron. So here, okay, we have one. Next one. Salvador, San Salvador. San Salvador. <laughs> okay, two. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of countries here, yeah. La Habana. Okay, this one is? Cuba. Okay, Cuba. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. Maybe Kingston. Great oh, town. Okay, Kingston is from? Vice town is in Barbados. Barbados, okay. So let me check. No. <laughs> okay, San Jose, Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Let me check here, San Jose in Costa Rica is here. Okay, yeah, we have four. Argentina, Buenos Aires. Okay, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Panama. Okay. 
Ciudad de Panamá, Panamá. Yes, it's here. Aha, we have six. Estados Unidos, Washington. Okay, Washington DC, Estados Unidos, yes. Okay. Eh, Chile, Santiago. Okay. Chile, Santiago. Okay, so let's see. Santiago. Okay, what is Chile? Let me see. Ah, Canada, here. Ottawa. Okay, Lima, Peru. Okay, wait. Lima, Peru. Yes, Canada, Ottawa. Okay, let me see. Okay, what is Canada? Uruguay, Montevideo. Ah, okay. Ottawa, Canada. Okay, Montevideo, Uruguay. Let me see. Okay. So you help me, what is Uruguay? I didn't see. It's next to, ah, here, okay. Tegucigalpa, Nicaragua, Honduras. okay. Honduras. Ah, okay, so you tell me. <laughs> Guatemala, ciudad de Guatemala. Okay. Managua, so Nicaragua. Ajá, Managua, Nicaragua, yes. Okay, Guatemala, ciudad de Guatemala. Okay, let me check. Um, let's see, ciudad de Guatemala, Guatemala. Quito, okay, Quito, Ecuador. Okay, ajá. Ciudad de México, México. México. Ok, Ciudad de México, México. Let's see. Caracas, Venezuela. Tengo Cigal, Honduras. Ok, wait. Here. Ok, Caracas, Venezuela. Let me check. Caracas, Venezuela. What is Venezuela? Ah, here. Ok. Which other? Brasilia, Brasil. Ok, Brasilia, Brasil. Yes. Ok. Asunción. República Dominicana. República Dominicana. Ok. No. Santiago de Galpa, Honduras. República Dominicana. Ok. Let me see. Ok. Santo Domingo. Yes, we have 18 right now. Okay, Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Let me check this Honduras here. Okay. Santo Domingo. Nassau, Bahamas. Nassau, Bahamas. Nassau, Bahamas. Okay. So let's see. And Bahamas is, let me check here. Okay. Kingston, Asunción, Bolivia. Ok, let's see. Asunción, Bolivia. Wait. Kingston, Barbados. Kingston, Barbados. No, okay. no. Bright, Bright, Brighton. Ah, ok. Check Bolivia. What is Bolivia? Ah, he's here. Ok, Asunción, Bolivia. No. Asunción with, with, with Paraguay. Paraguay. Bridgetown. Yes. Bridgetown, Barbados. Ok, Bridgetown, Barbados. Let me check. Barbados. Yes. Bolivia, La Paz. Bolivia, La Paz. Ok. So, let's see. Sucre, La Paz, Bolivia. Yes. Ok. Kingstown, Jamaica. Ok. Kingstown. De Mopan, Belice. Jamaica. Let me check. No. Yes, ok. Belmopan. Belice. Which one? Belice. Ok, yes. Ok, what else? Puerto Príncipe. Trinidad y Tobago. Dominica. San Cristóbal y Nieves. Ok, no. No. Ok, we guess in that case, yeah. Let me check. Antigua y Barbuda, no. Puerto Príncipe, IT. Yes. Ok. Let's see, St. John's. Dominica. Dominica. Okay, no. Surinam, let's check Surinam. No. Okay, St. John's. Antigua Barbuda, yes. Okay, 27. Castris, Santa Lucia. Okay, Castris, Santa Lucia. Mm -hmm. Let's see, yes. 
Puerto España. San Cristóbal y Nieves. San Cristóbal y Nieves, no. <ríe> ok. Trinidad y Tobago. Trinidad y Tobago, yes, Puerto España. <ríe> ok. Para Maribo, what is this one? Surinam or Surinam. Uh, yeah, Surinam. Okay, we have one minute, 30 seconds, and we have 30. Okay, Guyana, this one is Kingston, San Vicente Kingston. y Las Granadinas. Okay, Kingston, San Vicente y Las Granadinas. Yes, okay. Baseter, uh -huh. Guyana. Guyana, okay. No. Dominica. Dominica, okay. No. Granada. Granada, no. <laughs> so the last option, San Cristóbal y Nieves. Okay. And now we have these three. Rosa Dominica. Rosa Dominica. Okay, yes. San George. San George, Guyana. Guyana. Uh uh. Granada. Granada. Okay. Your turn. <laughs> okay. So imagine these one are capitals, okay, and also countries. Let me check here, okay, from America. And we almost, okay, guess others, yeah? Okay, this one is the correct answers, yeah? Okay, so let's see. This one is general, uh, let me see knowledge about the different countries, yes, but we have a lot, okay? Imagine in Europe, okay, we have a lot of capitals, for example, uh, let me see France. What is the capital of France? Paris. Okay, Paris, yes. Uh, let me see, Italy. Sydney. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, Italy, what is the capital of Italy? Roma. Rome, yes. Okay, next one, uh, let me see, England. London. Okay, yes. Okay, this one is famous. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Excellent. I don't know if you have some question about the topic that we study in unit 17 and 18. Remember this week study we study two units. Yes, one that is uh let me see about the quantifiers. Okay, some, any, a little, a lot of, and a few. Yeah. Okay, and we study about articles. Uh, and that this one are indefinite articles and also the only definite articles that we have that is the, yes? Okay, excellent. So uh, let me check on Monday, okay, you send your evidence, yes? But not all of you send the evidence of this week. So check your agenda, please, because this one is part of your grade. Okay, during the morning and during the afternoon, I check all the activities. Yes, because I have, uh, let me see, maybe two or three that I didn't check, but today I started, yeah, checking this activity. And I tell you, okay, if it is one of these activities that you don't present it or you don't send, but remember, okay, um, you need uh, an, a specific time for sending. That's mean exactly the date, okay? Or maybe, let me see if it is on Monday or if it is on Wednesday. If you don't send, uh, let me see an activity, right now it's not possible, yeah? But it is good that you know how many activities did you send, yeah? Okay, that's good. Excellent. Thank you very much for participating a lot. See you the next week and enjoy the rest of the day and also enjoy your lunch and the weekend, yeah? Okay, God bless you a lot. See you the next week. Okay, bye. Blessings for you too. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, see you next week. Bye.